Alright, so I found a pretty good tuning with this guy. This is just uh, one of the ones with the uh, 750 volt sick fit. And so basically what happens is I end up with the uh, pretty good switching and tuning, really good output. If I move the coil down here at uh, about the 30 volt region, right? But then if I tried to turn it up to maybe 60 volts, then I'm going to lose that switching. Uh, you know, at which point, if I actually move it up to around this region, then it starts switching pretty good at the 60 volts that I would want to feed it uh, just off this supply, right? So then vice versa, at the lower voltages with this coupling, it's not switching uh, too great. But i uh, got a fairly big heat sink here. The issue really I'm worried about is just pushing over 600 watts with this just sitting right here around all this stuff, right? All right, so this is how it runs at uh, 30 volts when I started up, and it's CC'd at 12 amps. It's the waveform. So if I back the bias down to, I got to bring it down quite a bit. So let's just say about nine and a half amps. Let's see what that does. And um, eh, not looking too bad. I mean, I, I it, it could run like that, right? But if I cut the voltage up now. Oh, so that's 700 watts. So I've never went that high with this supply. But at 700 watts, and or a little bit over, you can see it actually starts switching. All right, that flame starts getting pretty big. So again, that's only uh, yeah, with glass on it, that would be that would look pretty crazy. Look, that's with the uh, 750 volt fit. That was only like what one like 300 volts on the drain. So that's not bad. I right, got the tiny piece of glass on it now, just to see what it looks like. Actually, it's already not too bad at 30 volts. <laughs> And I'm going to start cranking that up. So I feel like it will draw less power. Yeah, it is drawing less power. So that's 60 volts, about 600 watts. So it gets up there with the glass. So again, less power than I was drawing. Longer flame. Man, that glass gets super bright. I have to look at it through the phone <clears throat> or it's uh, too bright. But yeah, again, uh, I don't like running it so close. Sometimes, depending on how I'm sitting this thing, it'll uh, wig out the supply. I don't want to destroy that supply. Probably wouldn't want to push more than like 11, 12 amps. But again, that's getting up there. You put a little tiny piece of glass. Um, as you can see, not only does it keep the heat away from the actual uh, electrode, it produces a pretty awesome flame. So let me try it at about there. So that, it ain't switching too great, but it's a little over 600 watts. Yeah, just for reference. Flame dances around. That's about eight inches right there. Can't really tell. And then it kind of started switching around to closer to 700 watts. But yeah, that glass, uh, I don't know, that little chunk of glass, it's already melted down, but it'll probably last a little while, a few runs, then I'll have to change it. Uh, but again, I still got this small cap on here. Just that short little run, that thing's blazing. Uh, you know, heat sink obviously is yeah, still cold. But uh, that glass keeps me from having to change that breakout point. So that might be something I do. I'll just kind of tune these with, uh, you know, just keeping in mind that I'll always have glass on the breakout point. Because it looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, but without the glass you know obviously when I crank that up to 700 
you know, it gets a real nice, uh, just super hot looking, thick, bushy flame. And, uh, it's, you know, it's just more calm looking, just like a regular, uh, you know, super duper large candle flame. So that's also pretty cool. Uh, but again, it'll melt that down pretty quickly.